Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to show you several AOKs or acts of kindness that have been sent over to me by various subscribers. Uh, in one case, a book was actually left for me at a comic shop by a subscriber, but I'm going to show you some awesome AOKs that I have received. How about that? I think that that works better. Uh, and I'm going to do it all in one video because these AOKs have been piling up on me and I don't want to um, lose track of anyone's AOK. So I want to do this video now. That way I can uh, have a, a, a clear mind, if you will, and also a clear desk because I tend to pile these things up next to me so that I don't forget them. So I think there are four AOKs that we're going to uh, rip through. The first one is actually going to be a slab. Uh, and, and this one is a really cool one. It's one that I've honestly never seen before. And it, it comes from a guy that is local to me uh, that literally left it at a comic shop for me to actually pick up at, at my leisure because, you know, time is, is, uh, is tough sometimes, especially during the week. But this is a book I have never actually seen the book before and I've never actually seen the creator do this kind of book. So it's it's really cool. It's also really high grade, which I think is, is fantastic. It comes from a guy by the name of Chaotic Kindness. You'll probably see him in the chat from time to time, but he hooked me up with Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man number one. This is from 2017. Uh, this is a KRS Comics edition B cover. And uh, what makes this really cool is that it's actually a, an art germ cover but it's a, a sketch, a sketch art germ cover. And when I picked it up at the comic shop, the comic shop owner kind of made the comment that he had never seen this before I, and, and neither had I. So this is a KRS Comics. You can see it on the back there, but it is an art germ sketch cover. I think of X-23. I think that that's who that is. Uh, first appearance of Rebecca London and Mason. Uh, there's also the Human Torch in here, Ant-Man, Black Widow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's definitely a really, really cool cover. So Chaotic Kindness, shout out to you, brother, for hooking me up with this awesome uh, cover that I've never seen before. So thank you for that. Uh, this next, um, this next AOK actually comes from from David, and uh, David sent this over to me. Uh, it was maybe maybe a week and a half ago, might have been two weeks ago, he sent this over to me uh, after one of the live streams where I was talking about a Netflix series that came from a comic. And I don't know that I knew at the time that it had come from a comic. I wasn't surprised about it, but I don't know that I readily recognized that it was from a, a comic book. Uh, but he sent over to me Raising Dion. And I think this is a one shot. It is a really cool cover of Raising Dion. If you guys haven't seen this series on Netflix, you are definitely missing out. It was a cool series. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, the acting was a little rough in uh, episode one, but as the episodes uh, uh, progressed, I think the acting got a little bit better, especially on the part of the kid, right? I think children actors are, are really tough, especially if they're younger, uh, but he found his groove by, you know, episodes like three and four, and it, it turned out to be a really cool series. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Netflix is actually going to renew them for a second series, but a uh, huge shout out to David for this uh, Raising Dion comic. Uh, I think this is cool. Uh, I mean, the, the cover is really cool, and uh, it's a really nice copy of this book. He sent it over to me in a top loader and everything, so huge shout out to you, brother, for hooking me up with this really awesome book. Um, I don't, I, I want to, again, I'm looking forward to seeing if Netflix does something more with this series because I think it has some potential. So this next one was sent over to me and, uh, clearly somebody watches my video <laughs> because it was wrapped in bubble wrap, which is something I definitely appreciate. Uh, this one, let me see if I know who this one came from. I, oh yes, I do. I do. I do. Because there is a letter. There is a letter, that is how I know, and I wrapped it back up in the saran wrap to make sure that nothing got separated. So this is the letter. It says, Reggie, but with a single G. I hope this package found you in a good health and cheer. In a recent hunting video, you displayed Fantastic Four 300. 
and your reaction was too funny as you were perplexed at the idea of Johnny Storm and Alicia Masters' wedding, which I was because that's Ben Grimm's girl, right? Um, I did not want to leave you hanging because this situation bothered me back in the day. It was after Secret Wars when Ben did not return to the FF and uh, Alicia and Johnny became involved. And it was in, it was 57 issues after the wedding to get some resolution to this revolting development, he says. So please find enclosed a reader copy of FF 357. He says his other copy is near mint, so he can't give me that one, which I respect. Fantastic Four 358 and FF 362, which is a follow-up story to the resolution and 358 guest starring Spider-Man. So huge shout out to uh, to Alex, old school comics. And it's, it's bent, so it's hard to read, but he signed it and everything. It's like a digital sig signature. Huge shout out to you, Alex, for hooking me up. And uh, here is Fantastic Four uh, 357. That is the, the first book. The letters on the back side of that one. Here is... 358. This is a square. It's a square bound. That's nice. 358. Really nice copy of that one right there. And then the last one is 362 featuring my man Spider-Man. So Alex, thank you very much, brother. I was definitely perplexed by that marriage. I have to tell you, I'm actually looking forward to reading these, uh, but definitely want to say thank you for that. So set those off to the side, some cool FF books. And then the very last thing that I want to show you guys is actually a stack of books that came in to me from Joshua. And I can barely make out the writing on the box. Um, it, it kind of rubbed off, but I believe that that says Joshua. So Joshua, thank you in advance uh, for the stack of books that you sent over to me. And there is, a, there is a mixture of books here in this stack. And I think each one of them, uh, well, most of them have labels on them to help me to identify the significance of these. So I definitely appreciate that. Here is Amazing Spider-Man 114. This is the origin of my man, Hammerhead, one of the original uh, gangsters, right? Uh, definitely dig this. Amazing Spider-Man 114, cool book. Uh, here is Amazing Spider-Man 264. And I think he sent these books over because he had doubles. And he basically says that I can, you know, do what I want with the books, give them away, et cetera, et cetera. Keep them in the collection. There's definitely a couple in here that I am going to hold on to. So this is Marvel Fanfare number six. This is the first appearance of Ian McNee. I think that's how you say that, or Ian McNee. Never know which uh, pronunciation someone wants, whether it's Ian or Ian. Um, I've met both types of guys. So um, Marvel Fanfare, cool cover. It's actually a really, really neat cover there. P. Craig Russell, 1982. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a cool, uh, cool cover right there, though. This next book is one that many people will recognize. This is uh, X-Force number four, Spider-Man appearance and third appearance of my man Deadpool. It's a newsstand, landscape. So we're going to turn that one to the side. Cool book right there. Next, it is another X-Force book. This is the first appearance of Mr. Tolliver. This is X-Force number five. Really clean copy of that book. Uh, here is X-Force number eight. This is our first appearance of Domino, first appearance of Six Pack, and it's also a newsstand and a fantastic Rob Liefeld cover right there uh, featuring kind of sort of some feet, kind of sort of, show that kind of. Kind of, sort of, a couple of feet in there. I think you can make out. <laughs> the last two uh, are also really cool. Another X-Force book here. This is X-Force 116, one that I do not have. This is actually the new team, the new X-Force team. I dig this one. I actually saw this cover uh, probably three or four months ago. And uh, I thought the cover was cool. So definitely appreciate this one. This one's definitely going to stay in the collection. And then the very last one, which will also stay in the collection, one I did not have, is X-Force number 32. This is the first appearance of Husk. And Husk makes an appearance in the recent uh, Jonathan Hickman series. So I, I think this one's really cool. Uh, but yeah, cool, cool stuff right here. So shout out to you, uh, brother, for Joshua, for hooking me up. And uh, shout out to everybody that is, uh, has ever sent me an AOK. -okay. I definitely appreciate it. 
Um, things are always appreciated no matter how big, no matter how small they are. And, uh, when people send me things and they're like, Hey, do what you will with it. It gives me an opportunity to pass some of these books back to the comic book community, which again, I think is something that, uh, many people out there have, uh, probably appreciated in some way, shape or form. So with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed it, I want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comments section. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so at uh, Reggie Collects on Instagram or Reggie Collects at gmail.com. Take care.